The hit BBC One family drama Merlin tells the story of the young wizard as he struggles to survive in a kingdom where magic is banned and where he must protect Camelot and aid Arthur to fulfil his true destiny. Now all of that sorcery, swords and swashbuckling adventure has come to the Midlands as Warwick Castle opens Merlin, the Dragon Tower, the first ever experience inspired by the show. The opening was attended by stars of the series and they were left suitably impressed. The show is about magic and about uh, uh, this um, romantic world and, and it's, it's beautifully designed in there. I really enjoyed the interaction and I thought it was brilliant and I think that the kids are going to love it if maybe be a little bit scared at points but I think that's a good thing. History should be like this, it should be something for, for kids to come and, and to experience and for it to come alive and, and it should be fun and Merlin is fun. And it was great to see how much the kids were involved, it was lovely and they were completely captivated. Merlin has been shown in 183 countries and the last series regularly pulled in UK audiences of over 7 million. The castle are hoping to tap into its popularity. We, we're going to get great reactions. You know, This is the only place in the UK or the world where people can actually interact with the last dragon from the series Merlin. Um, it's going to be brilliant. They're going to love every minute of the experience. Anthony Head's character, Uther Pendragon, has a deep hatred of magic and stops at nothing to banish it from his kingdom. They use magic. He says this new experience would not meet with royal approval. I think my character would probably have a, a conniption fit. Uh, no, he wouldn't approve of it at all. It's, it's encouraging magic and the seekers of magic and it's not a good thing at all. Judging by the reactions of those who really count, Merlin the Dragon Tower will truly be king of the castle. I liked it. Why was it good? Because when the dragon breathed fire, I got really scared. Were you scared? Yeah. It was really exciting. It was sort of scary at the same time, but in a good way. I thought it was very good, especially when I, when I found out I was a dragon lord. I had to see this magic spell, what would summon the dragon, Kilgara. If you saw a dragon again, what would you say to it? Um, I don't know. I'd <laughs> ask my brother to talk to him. <laughs> A new series of Merlin is being filmed at the moment and all kinds of surprises are being promised. In the meantime, the Dragon Tower has a few twists and turns of its own. I think people love magic and fantasy um, and I think definitely the attraction helps to capture that. Yeah, being able to meet the dragon and be part of the Merlin world um, is definitely very important. They're very sort of magical experience. You know, it's enjoyable and it's escapism and you don't have to worry about anything. You can just go in and have a laugh with Gaius you know, and the dragon and Kilgara and come away for it and just with a smile on your face. And that's exactly what I think Merlin as a show does. And that's exactly what the Merlin experience does. You'll come away with a smile from both of them.